Hello there, and welcome to another Rise Magic video. I'm Chandler Henry. Now, if you watched last week's video, I showed you guys my room, the studio, my future aspirations for when I move out of here in a week or two. But this week, I was digging through some old files on my computer, and I happened to unearth an absolute gem. Well, it's not really a gem by the exact definition, but by gem, I mean this is the first Rise Magic video that Grant and I ever created. It is actually the first video that was ever posted on social media under the name Rise Magic. But first, before we watch it, some context. This was at an event called Dining Under the Stars. It happened once a week in our hometown, and what would happen is that restaurants would bring out all the chairs from inside the restaurants, they'd shut down Main Street and bring all the tables and chairs outside so that everyone could eat and dine on the street under the stars. Grant and I saw this as the perfect opportunity to hone our skills as a duo magician team. Every Wednesday night during the summer, we would go out to the streets and practice our street magic on all these restaurant owners and customers, and we'd make a lot of good business connections that definitely helped us later on down the line. We never brought a camera or recorded anything. In fact, I didn't even have a cell phone until I was a sophomore in high school. So once I got my first cell phone, an HTC Evo 3D, with its amazing 720p video capabilities, I knew we had to put it to use that summer when we were performing magic and record some reactions. This specific video that you're about to watch is not from the specific Dining Under the Stars event. We were actually done working that night and we were walking back to our car, which we had parked at McDonald's. At McDonald's, we ran into some kids our age, so I was like, you know what? I trust this kid. I'm gonna hand him my cell phone and ask him to record a little magic routine that we do. <sighs> it's a little bit cringy, guys. Cringe warning. If you get secondhand embarrassment, I'm in the same boat as <laughs> I'm in the same boat as you. In fact, I really hope you guys enjoy this video because I certainly will. All right, let's get this over with and play. Wonderful title sequence. Visible palm. Slapping my stomach. <laughs> Oh, and the music turns up at the reveal. Oh, boy. So Grant and I actually used to do this trick all the time, admittedly. It's the invisible palm trick. We actually teach it on our channel. It's a version of that, not the exact version. You don't have to lift your shirt up or anything. So if you want to learn it, I'll put the link in the description. But not that bad. Got a good reaction. A little bit cringy, though, that it's uh, on my stomach. I must have thought I was in really good shape when I was 16. Moving on. Pausing at this frame, you can see the strapping young duo, Grant and Chandler Henry, Rise Magic. Uh, all right, moving on. Take that one. <laughs> no. oh my gosh, Ava. Oh, I got you. Oh, no. All right, so this is this is an amateur move here. I didn't even really have a routine, if I remember right. I was doing uh, that type of like visual force, right? And it made her see the seven of hearts. And then, guess what? It was written on my wrist. Written on my, is it wrote on my wrist? If I were to give Chandler from five years ago advice, it would be actually build a routine, not just do something like that and have it written on your wrist. Wrote on your wrist, wrote, written. So let me know in the comments what the proper grammar on that is. English isn't my first language. Good reaction though. All right, here we have Grant with his XXXL khaki shorts doing a, a nice little torn corner trick. All right, making it disappear. I like it in the McDonald's parking lot. And it's gone. What the heck? Where'd it go? I think I may have been holding my phone here. Before I hand it off to some stranger, Grant said, "I want you to think of a place. I want you to forget it and look over there." The music turns up. Great editing, Chandler. And in the McDonald's window, we have a corner, and the crowd goes absolutely wild. Not bad. Not bad, Grant. Five years ago. What? And the card switches to her card, the crowd goes wild once again. Now, let's get an instant replay on this. First off, 
This is a little bit what they might call extra. Sometimes good magic is all about being subtle, making an effect happen out of seemingly nothing. I think what I was going for here is that, look, me smashing the deck into your hand is gonna make the card change, which honestly, visually, I guess it does look a little bit cool, but in hindsight, I think it's a little bit too aggressive and uh, I wish I had worked on my triceps a little bit more. They're looking a little bit flat here, but yeah, a little aggressive smash into the hand and uh, turn to a card. A little bit cringy. We'll give it a 6 out of 10 on the cringe scale. Okay, so here we have Grant doing a nice little ACR classic. I'm sure you guys have seen this trick before. So he puts the half deck on top. Nice little close up here. Good, good filming Chandler. And it pops up to the top. The reactions never get old. It's CBS in the background. Let's flip it over. Flip it over. Flip it over. What? Just click this. Pro. Oh no! No 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 no! I know what this is. I'll explain this right afterwards. Uh. Not doing anything weird here. Way to clarify. Do it. Do it. Okay, so this is a triumph, obviously, where the deck is seemingly shuffled and becomes unshuffled to only card. Not in the right order is their card. And I remember I used to do it this way where I would be like, hey, look, it's all shuffled. And I'd be like, make a cage out of your hand. And I would put the deck in their hand like this. So there's like room and like shake their hand and like tell them it's coming unshuffled. Visual gives a nice explanation, makes them feel like something's actually happening. But when I watch it, on video, maybe it's just because it was five years ago. I don't know if it's that. Let me know if that's that cringe of a presentation. I, I don't think I would do it anymore like that. And I, I honestly don't do it anymore like that. I think it, I'm not sure. We're gonna give that a, a 3.8 out of 10 on the cringe scale, but we'll keep it moving. Okay, so this trick I actually do teach on the channel. I'll hit pause real quick. I can tell that me five years ago was a little bit more aggressive with my magic, a little less subtle, a little less smooth, more like in your face, slapping cards, hitting hands, things of that nature. But anyway, I actually do think that this trick is really underrated and really good. I'll link it in the description. Make some amazing reactions, as you can tell, even five years ago. It made me happy. It's me hitting a bridge shuffle. Oh, card to mouth, absolute classic. He did it again! He did it again! I remember I used to do that trick all the time and I'd try and get people with it multiple times in a row. Not smart, don't do the same trick twice. Alright, let me do it again. Alright, let me do it again. There's the strappy young duo once again. That was the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure he's seen better now. <laughs> Can you walk on water? Yes. Yeah. Very draining. Oh, Brendan Burgess. Thank you for taking my cell phone and, and filming that. Wonderful masterpiece. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I am voluntarily putting this on the internet, but I am putting it on the internet so that hopefully some of you guys out there who want to become magicians or even YouTubers have some motivation because Rise Magic as a magic duo and as a YouTube channel started from a cell phone that could not even record HD video. Everyone has to start somewhere. And yes, when you look back at your old stuff, you should cringe because you should be improving each and every day. The best way to get better is to go out there, put yourself out there and perform. You just have to do it. I can't even tell you how many awesome connections Grant and I made during those three summers. We met so many restaurant owners and business owners who ended up hiring us to perform for their different events and functions. If you want to start getting paid to perform, to do magic tricks, to become a working magician, the best way to do that is to put yourself out there in situations like I'm talking about right now. You have to go meet people, make connections with people who can pay you. And the jobs will really start coming in. Some of the connections we made those five summers ago still pay off and we still have gigs from those connections. So there is your motivation and inspiration for the week back when we started 
crappy camera, not even a camera, a cell phone camera, and clearly we performed a lot, but it needed a lot of work. And I'm happy we used to do that because it gave us a lot of good, valuable experience and connections. If you guys haven't entered the 60K giveaway, be sure to go do that right now. The link is in the description. You just need to watch another one of my YouTube videos, like it, and subscribe, and you'll be entered to win one of three decks, which will be announced in next week's video. Speaking of next week's video, you're definitely gonna wanna turn on post notifications for that one. It's a pretty special and unique video. By the way, thank you for all the wonderful and kind comments on last week's video specifically. I'm not going anywhere. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.